Good evening, everyone. I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. I thought this was real interesting. Our Earth's gravity has captured a um, asteroid, and it's going to be with us maybe for almost two months. All the news sites are calling it a mini moon, but it's not. It's only about 33 to 36 feet across or in length. And here on JPL, you can see the Earth. And then our moon in the path of uh, 2024 PT5. This asteroid was discovered on August 7th using the NASA-funded Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System. I like that. Last Alert System, or ATLAS. And according to astronomer projections, the asteroid is about to perform a two-month-long slingshot around our planet. It's supposed to be around between September 29th and until November 25th of this year. The asteroid will never complete one revolution around Earth, so it's considered a temporary capture flyby as opposed to a temporary capture captured orbiter. They're saying this asteroid is going to hang around until it breaks loose from Earth's grasp, our gravity. Well, what's to say it's going to fling out away from Earth's gravity and not come in closer to the planet or even, yeah, burn up in our atmosphere? You know, it could be affected by our own moon's gravity or even a solar flare from the sun, a coronal mass ejection. Yeah, they put drag on satellites, so... What could it do, something like that, to this 2024 PT-5? The asteroid 2024 PT-5 was reported this month in research notes of the American Astronomical Society. It is just uh, maybe 33 to 36 feet long, they say. The origin of this asteroid has two different stories. One, it is ejecta that actually was you know, thrown off the moon by an asteroid impact on the moon. Or it could be what they call an Arjunus, a population of near-Earth asteroids that constantly circle around in our location. They're also saying that asteroid 2024 PT5, close approach to our planet, at a relatively low ve velocity, is what allowed the Earth's gravity to temporarily alter its path. According to the published study, for 56.6 days, the little asteroid will change from orbiting the sun to orbiting Earth, but then the sun pulls it back into a elliptical orbit. How they come up with all this information, I have no idea, but they're saying that the asteroid will then have another close approach by Earth on January 9th, 2025. Even though a lot of mainstream media is calling it a mini-moon, normally to qualify as a mini-moon, the asteroid must er orbit Earth fully at least once. And it's not going to do that. So if you're worried about this asteroid impacting the Earth, the Chelyabinsk meteorite, um, its approximate size that blew out all the windows there uh, was probably 59 feet across. So, almost twice the size of what this thing is. That one exploded as a, um airburst. And if you're wondering if you can see this new asteroid, well, you can't. Evidently, it's so dim and it's so small that even with a telescope, you won't be able to see it. Pulling out the image here that they have on JPL, yeah, it's fairly close to the Earth. It's going to hang around for a while. Um, hopefully nothing knocks it out of orbit. I don't know if it's an actual piece of the moon. If so, I wonder if they saw something hit the moon recently. I don't know. So what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.